Hey YouTube. Um nice to see you again. Um thank you Michael for your comment. Um I would have made a video again before this but I've had COVID and I've actually tried to make a couple of videos but things have happened and um I just didn't know what I wanted to say really. But um so yeah, thanks for your comment. It's nice to hear from you. Um I hope you're well. Um, but but I want to talk about um, conversion therapy. Um, I've heard a bit about conversion therapy recently because um, I happened to YouTube um, Sam Brinton, and uh, I think Yul Roth talks about it a little bit as well. Um, and he was saying about how bad it was and how much damage it's done. And, but, the thing is, um, I was thinking, um, with this Dylan Mulvaney, um, and that other guy on, uh, YouTube, and just Dylan Mulvaney on his own, um, talking to people very threateningly, um, and talking to kids, very enthusiastically almost uh forcing them into a certain sort of lifestyle forcing them to believe a certain sort of lifestyle is not just okay but mandatory and they should pursue it to me that's conversion therapy um it's just different a type of what's gone on before it's like racism, isn't it? It's like racism still persists um, heavily, but it's just changed. Mind you, we're all human, aren't we? So we're all nasty to one another in certain ways. But um, it's just got me thinking. Um, this It's really dangerous and really scary. As much as I don't think conversion therapy, from the Christian point of view, really helped anyone in the past um, I absolutely think now that conversion therapy from the tran transgender point of view is outright dangerous and manipulative and is going to damage a lot of lives and is doing um, so that's what I want to say so um, for now um, I've got over Covid I couldn't go to work so I've not worked for the past three days my wife's not been happy because she's had to go in without me. Um, we work at the same place with old people. Um, I've actually had my manager show up at my door today just to give me a test. And uh, it tested negative, um, which was a bit embarrassing, really. It made me think, oh, my word, it looks like I'm cheating. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting over COVID now. And we should have a COVID-free Christmas, not like last Christmas when I had COVID on Christmas Day. Um, so um, what I will do now, I will bid you farewell. Um, keep well, keep saying, and God bless.